Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add knowledge base article in Zendesk. Watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. On Zendesk, the guide admins can create new articles and edit all the existing article in the knowledge base. If there are agents who are not guide admins, they can create and edit articles if they have the management permissions, but end users will not be able to contribute articles to the knowledge base. In order to add articles to the knowledge base on Zendesk, simply open up a web browser. Make sure that you're logged into your Zendesk account as well. Click on the product icon at the top right and in the expanded menu, click on the guide or the help center option. Click the add button on the top left menu bar and select article. Enter your content in the text box. You can use the article editor's toolbar in order to format option or to add link, images or tables. Go ahead and give them a title for your article. After you are done filling in all of the information, under Manage by, click on the drop down and select Management Permission to determine which agent has editing and publishing right for this article. In my case, I'm going to select the admins. Selecting admins enable only guide admins to edit and publish the article. This option is selected by default whenever you create a new article. Under Visible 2, click on the drop down and select one of the view permissions to determine which users will be able to view this article. Once you make a selection, under Publish in section, click on the selection option and select a new section. Once you are done selecting a section, click select. Right beneath, choose any of the following options. Select if your article is open for comments or if you want to promote articles in its section. Click the promote article option as well. Now, under labels, you can add any label you want. This might not be available on the suit team. Once you select a label you want, under related to, type in the content tag you would like to add that can help users to find related articles and posts. After you are done, right where you can see attachments. You can upload an attachment by clicking on this link at the bottom and then select a file and remember that the file size limit is 20 MB. Once you are done uploading a file, you can now go to the top of the screen and click on the save button. Clicking on the save button will create the article as a draft. Click on the manage article button at the top left and you'll be able to see that the article that you just created has been listed in this tab. You can click on the article to view it whenever you want. Now, if you want to publish your article, click on this little drop down at the top right and click on the publish button in order to publish your article right away. So now after you do that, you'll be able to create the article and publish it in your health center. That is how you can add a knowledge base article on your Zendesk account. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more videos like this. Thank you for watching.